Okay, so now that we understand what an Ansible playbook is and why we would use one, let's actually take a look at a very simple pre-existing playbook that I've written. So playbooks are written in YAML, which means yet another markup language. I recommend that you do a quick Google for that as there are plenty of explanations and tutorials on how to write YAML. So a playbook is effectively a YAML document and the YAML document contains plays. So a play is effectively the largest unit of code available in a playbook. So this whole block here is a play. We can provide a name which will appear in the console when we execute the playbook. We can provide a name which will appear in the console when we execute the playbook. We can target specific hosts that we want the play to actually talk to and we'll see in a second how a playbook can actually have multiple plays. We've got a second play down here and how those plays can target different hosts. So here we're targeting our web servers and if you remember we have three DigitalOcean virtual machines. Two of them are our web servers. So here in this play, we're targeting just the web servers. We can set other flags as well. There are many, but in here, we're just we're targeting the become flag, which says become the root user. Technically, we don't need that because when we run our playbook, we're logging into our DigitalOcean virtual machines as the root user. So technically, that's not required, but it's very common for that to be set at the play level. It can also be set at the task level and tasks are the next item we have in our play. You can also have roles like this, and then we go role name. That's an advanced topic that we're gonna to come to in another, in another part of this crash course, but for now, we're just gonna focus on a very basic playbook containing tasks. Now, tasks are a list of modules that you want Ansible to execute in a particular order, to linear order. And in this plays task list, we have two modules. We have the user module, which we can see here. And we have the package module, which we can see here. And each module has a name, or rather I should say that each task has a name. So when we execute the playbook on the command line, we will see create a non-root user. And then in the background, the user module will be executed with two flags, name, Michael C, state, present. Then we move down and we execute a second task, which has a name, install nginx. And we're calling the package module. We're passing it the flag name, nginx, state, present. And so that is effectively a play. And so all of these things together form a play within a play book. Now we have a second play down here and that's called configure the databases and the hosts that that targets is databases. So that will target one virtual machine, become yes, so become root. Again, not necessary in our case, but it's there because it's very common. And we just have one task this time in our task list called install MySQL server. We call a package module. We set the name to MySQL server and we want that package to be present. So how do we execute this playbook and what does that execution look like? Well, we can see here on the screen, we've got ansible-playbook master.yaml-i inventory.ini. Do you remember we have our inventory? dash u root. So this is the Ansible playbook command. It's somewhat similar to the Ansible command, except there is something missing. Remember on the ad hoc commands, we had to type all in order to define which hosts that we targeted and we wanted all of them, or we'd say web servers. Well, we don't have to do that now, right? Because we're doing that inside of our play, inside of our playbook. The specific play targets a specific set of hosts. We can put all here and that will configure nginx and our non-root user on all of those servers but we actually just want to talk to the web servers and install nginx on the web servers you don't really find nginx or a web server running on the same server as a database in most cases and so the ansible playbook command executes our playbook for us and we can provide the inventory and the remote user 
that we want it to use. So what does executing it actually look like? So I'm just going to go ahead and execute this now. And as you can see at the top there, we have our play configure the web servers. Remember we had this here, configure the web servers, the name of the play. Now task. The first task it does behind the scenes is gather the facts about each server. And then there's our create non root user task. There's our install nginx task. It's gone ahead and done, done that fine on each server. Now it's gone down to the databases, it's gathering facts again, and everything's done. So what's that actually done? So there's a bit missed off the screen here. So I'm just going to copy paste the play recap, bring it over here. So we can see that it's actually gone to each server. It's not changed anything. Neither of them were unreachable. None of them failed. Nothing was skipped. Nothing was rescued. Nothing was ignored. Now the reason they just say OK is because I've actually already executed this playbook and those the user's already been created, the web server's already been created, already been installed, sorry, and the database MySQL server has already been installed. Otherwise, it would have said changed on first run. But that is effectively the play recap telling us that everything went fine. And that, in short, is how you execute an Ansible playbook.